Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ben Borkel. I'm the manager of the statewide system of support and the MyKIP lead for professional learning at MDE. Today, we're here with three of our testing partners who will briefly share about their experience working in MyKIP. We have with us today, Stacy Vesprimi, who is the curriculum director for the Woodhaven Brownstone School District. Sean Williams is the deputy superintendent for the Eaton Regional Education Service Agency and Ken Haggart is the superintendent of schools in Fremont. So the first question is this, how will MyKIP influence a change in mindset to the continuous improvement process? And Stacy, we'll start with you. Um, I believe the MyKIP will change the mindset of the continuous improvement process because it makes users actually reflect on the process I think the old system forced users to take a plan and fit it into a platform that wasn't necessarily very intuitive, like trying to you know, put a square peg in the round hole. So prior to the MyKIP, teams would have to spend their time looking for their data sets, asking themselves the right questions, finding tools, finding the research and any strategies that might fit to solve their problems. Um, using the MyKIP program, uh, in, in as a testing partner uh, it allowed me to have all those tools in one place so the data from my school data was right in front of me they had the research in front of me strategies i could use for the goals that we're trying to accomplish as well as some procedural applications so i really think it will allow teams to take the time in their journey to reflect on their decision making using those guiding questions and the decision making tools in the platform thank you sean I believe the structures and the processes included in MyKIP will usher in a mind shift towards interconnecting these multiple efforts, um, focusing our energy on supporting the whole child with some degree of balance. As educators, we all want to do what's best for students, and MyKIP can help ensure that we're considering all these influences um, to the best of our ability. Uh, MyKIP supports a more inclusive mindset incorporating all these efforts that schools are engaged in through a more streamlined, comprehensive plan. Uh, that helps users visualize the allocation of resources, personnel, and time, um, and dedicate these various initiatives and programs uh, towards efforts that can be captured in my kit in a way that's more, I guess, in, a better way to inventory and track how the total some of the efforts are, are impacting students. Thank you. And Ken? Um, I would agree with Stacy and Sean. Um, for many of us, the school improvement process had become cumbersome. It was an adventure trying to keep up with continuously changing um, an assist system that was changing and uh, was making the work of school improvement somewhat difficult. Um, it was almost like, let's do our school improvement work over here and then we'll input it into the assist system over here and the two processes never really connected. Um, it, it almost became a hoop jumping thing through that we had to do that took away from our actual time we could spend on school improvement. Now, that being said, we have had here in Fremont an opportunity to take a look at the Michigan Continuous Improvement Planning process, the MyKIP program. And we had serious reservations back in May, but since we have had opportunities now to work with it, we think that a change is coming um, for the first time, as we work our way through the program, we are actually doing the work of best research practices as a part of a team uh, group. Um, here, here's something that we have. We can, we're, we're, we're working with the program directly beside us. I mean, we're, we're going through the process. The computer's here. We're all around the computer. We're working on it together. Our mindset as a district school improvement team has changed dramatically since May. Thank you. So some of you kind of alluded a little bit to the second question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So how do you see MyKIP addressing the challenges of the previous planning system in ASSIST? So Sean, let's start with you this time. Well, I think as Ken said, the previous planning system unfortunately became one more thing to do in the eyes of most administrators. And that's to no one's fault. The technology behind the old program had limits, uh, utilized an improvement process that we frankly outgrew. We have collectively learned so much about continuous improvement over the past 10, 15 years, but the old planning system didn't necessarily reflect what we had learned. As a former principal, I've facilitated several improvement work sessions with my staff and school improvement team, 
throughout the year and then had to essentially summarize what we were doing in the state reporting tool in the old system. Now with MyKIP, uh, district and school leaders can collaborate around continuous improvement using the MyKIP platform as an online facilitation tool. I've heard it referred to as TurboTax for, for school improvement. I think maybe even you, Ben, might have been the one that's quoted that. Uh, but it's also like a personal assistant. Uh, MyKIP can help uh, direct schools and districts at how to stay focused and engaged in their efforts on the different tasks and needs throughout the year so they can implement their programs and strategies effectively. As I participated in testing the components of MyKIP platform, I envisioned school leadership teams engaged in a series of meetings with the MyKIP tool projected on the screen in conference rooms. The platform functions both as a guide and a discussion generator, which I believe can facilitate these meaningful conversations that we want to occur in our districts and schools. And the platform and the process will help our efforts by capturing what we're actually doing to improve the systems and supports for our students and families, whether it's for developing whether it's in developing a data story or using the hexagon tool to evaluate the fit of new initiatives, for, expand, for example, or I expect rich and necessary conversations to occur within this process. Um, and, and the facilitation, I keep saying facilitation, because I really think it's something that we will see folks use to guide conversation. And because you have the data, uh, the tools, the artifacts, the narratives, and so on housed in one place, this is going to be really ideal for a lot of our uh, building leaders and, and also our school team. So instead of a summary of continuous school improvement, which we got in the old system, MyKIP is the warehouse, the monitoring system, the reporting tool for all these efforts. Thank you. Ken. Well, and again, I, I agree. The, whereas the old system was a, um, a data in, data out, used for reporting purposes only. I know many districts, we break that assist program out once a year, but school improvement is a year round process. And we had pages and pages of work and um, it simply didn't match up with our needs. The new system, my KIP, and I'll be honest, you have to, it, we're all, we all have reservations and we're suspicious of new things, but I'm telling you, you try it once, you try it a second time, a third time, a fourth time, and I think you're gonna like it because Again, as Sean was saying, we're working with the program closely together. It becomes a, a real uh, continuous school improvement planning process, and it helps into the future as well. Thank you. And Stacy. I'll go back to what Ken said in his first answer, that, th that the planning and assist were two separate things where you would try to throw your plan into a platform. Um, and so that's what I really liked about the MyKIP. And going back to assist, I would always say, what button do I click? What do I do? But where the MyKIP is very intuitive to what we're used to on, a, on an internet website, hyperlinks, guiding questions. Like Sean said, it's the TurboTax for school improvement, even down to a congratulatory ribbons throwing up, you know, the ribbons were coming down when you, you re, it, uh, did a certain achievement on the platform which I thought was really cool. Great, thank you. So our final question today is this. So what did you find are the greatest benefits to the MyKIP process and platform? So Ken, let's start with you. So you start with one or two goals and we noticed right away that the MyKIP platform allows us to deep dive in different areas surrounding each of the goals that we'd want to set. Um, it helps and gives constant references to strategies. They're right there at your fingertips and the actions that you can take are right there and they're best practiced researched ideas that make the whole improvement process. It is, it is. I'm gonna use that moving forward, Sean, the idea that it's just something, uh, it's on speed because everything goes smoother, everything goes faster. Everybody can have those conversations right while it's, it's uh, for the first time we have a program that is helping us ask those why questions for our ideas. And you'll understand that a little bit more when you get into it. Um, but mo it's gonna help us align our resources to make ideas happen easier and faster. Thank you. Stacy. I will concur with Ken about the, the guiding questions. You know, as leaders that have to lead this process, sometimes you can't find the right question or know what, what, what questions to ask. 
and having that tool right in front of you with the data in front of you and the strategy, strategies and research, the questions are there for you to use as a team. And you have the questions in front of you to, to make those decisions, to analyze data, and to move forward in the process, just making it a much smoother and easier thing moving forward. Thank you. And Sean. Well, and like Stacy mentioned in her previous response about the clunkiness of the old system, and using this platform, I found the interface, which is more Apple or Google-like than the previous interface, to be really easy to use. There is not too much content on any one screen, which makes it really simple to navigate. As you mentioned, uh, Stacy, that you know, I didn't know which button I was supposed to click to be able to get it to submit, or something on another screen was not completed, so it didn't let you advance. That is not the case here. It, it slowly progresses forward. As you advance through the screens, my kit walks you through a clear and direct improvement process where state and local data through the My Data Hub connection can both be viewed and embedded right into the tool as needed with only a few clicks of the mouse. Lastly, the platform contains well-designed initiative selections and progress monitoring tools um, that are easy to use and ensure your efforts are aligned to best practice and continuous improvement, which as a school leader, sometimes it gets really difficult because so many people want to try so many different things, but not put the effort into actually following a process to make sure that we're implementing with fidelity. And the my kit really forces you to think about these things. And the nice thing, if you are using the tool to facilitate, it's really, you're, you're relying on the tool to say, yeah, the, the, what about this? What about that? Have you thought about this um, in the way that it's structured? Um, and so after using the MyKit platform, I believe most districts would opt to use it, whether it's required or not, because it's easy to use and enhances the continuous improvement process. Great, thank you. And I'd like to again thank uh, Stacy and Sean and Ken for uh, sharing their thoughts today.